This is a simple demonstration of the Animals Java program running on this uh, sample Diana board with an Atmel 644 at Mega chip. Let's take a look. How do you power this thing? There we go. So now we have, of course, our uh, question. You can see the LED here is um, dimly lit. These are the eight and these are the three buttons. So right now it's going to try to guess my animal. So let's take a look. Is it a mammal? Top is yes and bottom is no. So yes, it is a mammal. Does it have hooves? Let's go with no, it doesn't have hooves. So it's a dog. So let's say yes. And we're back to normal. Let's try again. Is it a mammal? No. I guess the only guess we have here is a squid. So let's say that our answer was indeed a squid. Let's go ahead and try this one again. So what has who what doesn't have hooves and isn't a dog? Let's say cat, so we'll say no. So we now we need to enter a new question. So let's go with does it meow the keyboard here is a relatively interesting concept essentially it's a binary search through the letters that you need it's pretty effective with just two buttons and it surprisingly quickly you get used to typing on it and end up with very very quick typing ability so right now the question we're asking of course is does it meow And we have to go back for a second, because I typed that letter wrong. And we're done. And our answer is, of course, a cat. We're done. And is the answer to our question, does it meow, the original answer of dog? No, it's not. So let's try this. Is it a mammal? Yes. Does it have hooves? No. Does it meow? Yes. Cat. Oh, look at that. It learned. So that demonstrates the working Java animals program on the Diana board. And this is, of course, the Diana board itself. There is the SD card, the microcontroller, the eight LEDs, the ICSP connector, connectors for the buttons. There you have it.